We're at the Institute of Positive Fashion Forum here in Soho. We are welcoming leaders of change, challenges of change, innovators of change, some in person, uh, some via Zoom, with the purpose to galvanise the fashion industry, how they're going to significantly reduce their impact on the planet in the next 10 years, and of course, to really focus on equity and equality for those that work within the fashion industry too. The need for collaborative action with a clear route map for change has never been more important or urgent. We as the BFC are proud to have committed to the Race to Zero by 2030. And if I have one ask of you today is to also commit to this and put a plan in place to make change in your business. There is more than business, there is more than uh, clear goals, it's, it's about meaning. And I think now sustainability more than ever is one of the values that are really on the top of the minds of uh, young people. Business as usual is an investment plan in failure over the long term and no longer an option. And I strongly believe the fashion industry, with your creativity, with your innovation, you have a huge opportunity. Is there one thing that you would say to anybody who is of influence that they should be doing if they truly want to be inclusive? Hire diversely young people. Hire 10 young people that are from diverse backgrounds and put them in wherever. Let them ideate. I think one of the great things this year has taught us is for finding new ways to work. The priority is to deliver profits to shareholders. So the business models have been constructed around that aim. They're not constructed around the aim of ensuring equity and equality. And until businesses find a way to accept that that's the case, then we're not going to make that much progress. It's cool to repeat. I really like hashtagging. It hashtag cool to repeat. It doesn't just fall upon one person, right, Laura? It has to be like designers, big designers, houses. You know, the industry needs to take responsibility for the footprint that it's leaving behind and what a large impact the fashion industry is happening. I think that immediate sense of guilt, in a way, is, is important for the entire industry. I believe that we have responsibility also to be more ambitious and raise our voice. Designing with longevity in mind has always been in Lee's and Sarah's creative process since the beginning of the, of, of the company. This morning we announced uh, some new, really stretching climate target to become uh, climate positive by 2040. Yes. Purpose creates profit. We have to look at regulation and policy to drive a tide. Fashion reaches into everything else, more powerful than innovation in many other industries. This is a great, <laughs> exciting shift. We are able to have this conversation. You're informed. Your colleagues are informed. Everyone watching this is switching in and want to, they made a choice to listen to me. So in this vital year for climate change, the year of COP26, let's get the UK fashion industry shaping the world's future. I'm blown away by the amazing contribution of all of our speakers today. Thank you for helping us to unpack some of the key issues facing the fashion industry and for bringing such collaborative energy. It's vital that we consider the impact that we have on our people, on the planet, and make urgent change now so that we can build better businesses and a more successful industry for the future. We look forward to next year and seeing what we've achieved in year one of this essential decade of change. Thank <laughs> you.